So recently I decided to make a decision. I decided to, from now on, not talk about my day in my video blogs. Because honestly, that's boring. When I see videos of people on YouTube talking about their day and how they went to work and it sucked and now they're sitting at home not doing anything and they thought they'd make a video because, you know, it'd kill some time and, you know, hey, maybe it'd be fun. I always end up closing it because it's boring. <laughs> so I decided that I'm never going to talk about my day for the rest of my life. So today was pretty cool. I woke up at like 10, which is early for me, and then um, I went to class. Uh... And then for the rest of the day, I wrote a, a research paper about alien abductions, which is pretty weird. <laughs> I've been reading crazy books like this all week, <laughs> and my brain is kind of, I don't know. It's kind of interesting, though. Like, I've learned a few things that I didn't know. <laughs> Let me read some of what I wrote, because some of it's not, some of it's kind of boring, but some of it's pretty interesting. Okay, I don't know if any of you have ever had something happen to them called sleep paralysis, but it's like, I've had it happen to me a few times, and it's pretty scary. It's like when you're asleep, and you have a dream that, like, you're, like, you can't move your body, and it's really terrifying, and a lot of alien abductees think that that's what happens when they get abducted and aliens are watching them. And here's what I wrote. Many abductees have a frightening sleep experience in which they wake up suddenly, terrified and paralyzed. This is known as sleep paralysis, which occurs when our sleep cycles have become temporarily desynchronized. When sleep cycles overlap, it is possible to wake up before sleep paralysis is waned, and if we wake up while we are in the process of dreaming, dream material might linger into our waking state. Ow. <laughs> Thus, we can find ourselves hallucinating sights, sounds, and bodily sensations. So basically, that's what people who think that they're abducted experience, and... They're kind of stupid. And then they go to, like, a therapist, and then they go into a hypnosis. They think of what the abduction might have been like, even though, like, they're kind of making it up as they're going on. And then, like, all of a sudden, they realize, oh, my God, I've been abducted by aliens. It's totally retarded, but... <laughs> I've had that happen to me a few times, sleep paralysis, and it is really scary, but I don't think I was abducted by aliens. Sorry. I can't believe I'm talking about this. I can't believe I wrote an entire paper about this. Uh, by the way, that was for my magic and witchcraft class. It doesn't have anything to do with magic or witchcraft, but my teacher didn't care, apparently. Okay, so I haven't made a video blog in a while, obviously, because I've been so busy with school. Um, and because I've been so busy with school, I've gotten A's on all my midterms, which is really awesome. <laughs> so if I keep this up, then maybe I'll get straight A's for the semester. Speaking of, there's only like a week and a half left, which is awesome. What has happened with my life? I still don't have any place to live next year. <laughs> My roommate situation fell through. They wanted to live somewhere I didn't want to live, so I decided to not live with them. Which, I guess, sucks, but whatever. At least I will be miserable. A few weeks ago, I went to an audition for Gator Growl, which is UF's, like, it's like the biggest, it's the largest student-run pep rally in the world, or country, I don't remember which one. But, um, in Gator Growl, they have a bunch of skits and sketches, like, in it. And I went to an audition for those skits and sketches the other day. Um, it was a casting call for actors that they needed. And um, it was pretty cool. I, it was a bunch of like actors in a big room. And they basically put a handful of actors in the, in, the, at the, in the front of the room and gave them a bunch of scripts. And they were like, okay, you're this person, you're this person, you're this person. And they just said, like, go crazy. And it was fun watching everyone. And I had, I had fun acting and auditioning for it. And, um, my teacher was there, my acting teacher, so hopefully he'll, and he said something to the casting director, like, hey, you know, this guy is in my class, and he's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know what he said, but he put in a good word for me. And so I'm hoping I get at least something. So that'll be pretty cool. Oh, I saw Grindhouse the other day? Oh, best movie. <laughs> like, for real, like, it was the best movie I've seen in 2007. Go see it. I know it's three hours long, but it doesn't feel like it. And plus, it's two movies for the price of one. You can't beat that. So, go see it, if you haven't. Oh, and I have herpes. Look at that. Not really. It's a zit on my lip. But I've been telling people that I have herpes. And they believe me. Oh, speaking of, um, gullible people, April Fool's Day <laughs> was fun. <laughs> 
Um, that's all I'll say about that. Anyway, I'm going to go. Go to sleep. It's like 2.30 in the morning. Bye.